In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create drop down lists within Excel, which then automatically updates the result based on the input selected. So in this example, we have a list of different student names and the result they've achieved in a particular exam. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a drop down list so we can easily select the different student names. So in order to do that, firstly, select the cell where you want to create your list, then go on data, data validation, and then in a validation criteria, we want to select list. And then under source, simply select the list of the student names. So in this case, it's all these names here. And then press OK. And as you will see, you have created a list of all the different names of students that you can select. Now, as the next step, I want the result field to automatically update when we select a student's name from the drop down. So for example's sake, um, let's select a name from the drop down. Let's go with Rob. So now I want this field to automatically update with Rob's result, which would be 50%. And in order to do that, we need to use the VLOOKUP function. So what we simply need to do is go into the particular field where we want the result to show and then press equals VLOOKUP open bracket. And now Excel will ask you a series of questions. The first thing is the lookup value. So what is the original value you are looking up against? So in this instance is the student's names in this drop down. So I'm going to select this particular field here, then press comma. Then it's asking for table array. So essentially, where is the data within your Excel? So the data is within this particular table. So I'm going to select all of these different fields here and then press comma. And then it's asking you for a column. So in which column? is the result that you want to be displayed. So for us, it's column B, which is number two. So I'm gonna press two. If it was in C, then you would press three and so on. Then press comma again. Now Excel is asking you for false or true. So if you enter false, then you essentially are asking for an exact match. If you want an approximate match, if, you know, if it's a different scenario, then you would enter true. But I want the exact match um, in this particular example. So I'm going to enter false and close the bracket and press enter. And now, as you can see, that Excel has delivered 50% against Rob. And if I was to change the name, so let's go with Pat, then this will automatically update to the result of what Pat got, which was 72%. And this is how you can combine a list with a VLOOKUP to create these kind of results within Excel.